up here, boy. Open the more door. I bet you want to see him, don't you? Boom. Look at that guy. I'll tell you this right now. I lose another big buck like that to these damn cameras. Patience is definitely a virtue that I have. Or lazy enough. This thing's a tank. Most of my life, I spend hunting in various forms of sheep country. And every once in a while, things line up and I get the opportunity to hunt one. When I do, I soak it in. The mountains of Alaska, it's the pinnacle of alpine hunting. Steep terrain, large wilderness areas, and one of the most incredible species of big game, the doll sheep. Alaska requires that all non-residents hunting doll sheep must be with a registered guide. Luckily, my good friend Jeremy Rusink of Rogue Expeditions fits the bill and offered to take me on this hunt. We are also joined by Liam Quinn. Coming over from New Zealand, this will be his first experience chasing sheep in Alaska. Although not solo, I plan to self-document the trip. It's too cool of an experience not to share. Experiencing an amazing hunt in amazing country with some great friends is what I'm all about. You see that other ram still? Kiwis, you can't take them anywhere. <laughs> Once they get off their island, they become really awkward. <laughs> I have 10 days for this hunt. The whole thing will be done on foot from the trailhead and back, carrying our camp and gear till we make a base camp, then moving further into the area till we find a good ram. The area is a combination of valleys and cliffs littered with big mountains. There's a lot of up and down. When we get to a higher vantage, we can see for miles, picking out the white spots of sheep through the black shale and in the green patches where they feed. But sheep have been holding up in these cliffs here. There's like mineral deposits and stuff that they've been licking in. Today the sheep are just nowhere to be seen in this basin, so we've got miles to cover. Maybe a couple rams on the back side of this that we've been looking at, but nothing legal. We've got to be full curl, so it's just a struggle to find one that's legal. But here's a look. Down the valley. It looks nice and gradual, but it's honest to God not. It's pretty steep. We move locations several times, getting further and further into the unit, in search of that full curl ram. We are joined midway through the hunt by another friend and guide of Jeremy's. We see a ton of different rams and a lot of sheep, but nothing even close to full curl. I've been carrying these heavy cameras around for what, seven, eight days, something like that. A week into the hunt, and I've had very few sheep encounters. We put on a lot of miles to find a legal ram, but I have yet to turn one up. Limited on batteries and weight, I've been keeping my filming to a minimum. Now, it's down to the last few days, and I know I have enough to film as much as I want, 
so I break out the cameras to capture more of the hunt. With only a few days left to hunt, we walk over the last ridge in our view to get a look at some fresh country with the hope that we will find what we're looking for just over the rise. A long way off, I spot a ram that looks substantially bigger than anything up to this point. I get a scope on it to verify. For a ram to be legal, its horn must make a complete circle, growing its tip to a length where it appears to have passed the base of its horn from a side view. This is called full curl. As we watch the ram in the distance, it looks good. Definitely worth a closer look. But we don't have enough time to get there tonight. So we watch him till dark and plan on making the long trek there in the morning. With our fingers crossed, we hope you'll still be in the vicinity. Yeah. Well, it's day seven or eight. Really only seen one legal ram and it's a long ways away hopefully that ram puts himself in a position because last night i spotted him I wasn't even close to somewhere i could get to but the thought is maybe he'll come down and i want to be there if he does where i spot the sheep it's a good three miles four miles maybe and we've got a range in between us so this is pretty much my last day to get over there because it's a two-day pack out I've only got two days before I gotta be out of here, so this is the last two raw. Well, this is the first leg and it's not even done. Going up over this range and then down the backside. I'm already a ways up in this bowl, but just gotta climb this ridge and then start running down the backside. And it's four times the elevation gain and just as steep. That big peak in the background. Today, there's a bunch of ewes over there. Holy cow. Okay. Gotta make it happen today, man. 
I'd really like to take a doll sheep, so. Now or never. On the way over, I spot the ram rounding the mountain across from us, and he's heading our way. We've got a ram that just came up in this alley we've been watching. It looks like he's very good potential that he might be legal. So we're gonna drop down, try to get around and get a better look at him more level because we're looking down. We spot what looks like a good ram, and he's on the move, walking toward us. We need to get a closer look, so as soon as he walks out of sight, we hustle to drop down the mountain to get a closer position for when he pops back out. get into position just before the ram reappears. He is closer than we were expecting and is now within range. We set up the scopes to really analyze the ram and make sure he's full curl before I pull the trigger. your assessment on him so far because you've been looking at him. Does he look legal to you? Yes. Yeah, me too. And I think he's got eight. Like if there's growth, I can count seven, eight growth rates. Really? And definitely seven. Looks up pretty damn good, it seems like. I'm like a Sega Spuds. <laughs> Holy cow, guys. I didn't think it was gonna happen. He looks like a pretty good ram. Yeah. Holy smokes, guys. Thank you. <laughs> there were a lot of miles put into this hunt. So to reach down and grab the horns is an unbelievable feeling. Sheep are one of the animals that I'm crazy about. Just to be able to watch them and be in their habitat is an incredible experience. To lay your hands on their massive horns is what I dream of as a hunter. The opportunity is rare and it makes occasions like this that much more surreal.
good thing is they are tasty animals. <laughs> See how clean that is? Well, that's a pretty good trip, man. <laughs> the hunt is not over at the shot. In fact, it's only halfway through. Now you have to pack up all your stuff, the meat, and camp. For some reason, this is one of my favorite parts. I like the weight and knowing that it is not for the faint of heart. The feeling that all the effort is worth it in the end. Got beautiful glaciers behind me and pretty much the last day we had to make a monster trek and we ended up with a good ram. Good team effort by everyone.